welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Marysville High School Gymnasium for girls basketball action. The Marysville Vikings are taking on Lance Cruz this evening in the Pink Out 2017 game. Our Marysville Vikings are coming in with an overall win-loss record of 11 wins and four losses, seven and one in the MAC Gold Division. Their opponent tonight, Lance Cruz, is six and nine overall, three and six in the Gold Division. Joining me in the booth tonight is Emily LaFrance. How you doing, Emily? I'm doing good, Mr. Smith. How are you? I'm doing great. Great night for pink out basketball, isn't it? It is. I'm very oh. excited for this one. Not only are we going to take on Lance Cruz, but we're going to try to take on cancer a little bit tonight and see if we can make a dent. Well, yep. let's start with the uh, keys to the game, Emily. What do you think Marysville's going to have to do, Coach Rathje and the girls, to get a win? I think what we really have to do is limit our mistakes. We have to get good shots in and get lower on turnovers. We're pretty high in those. We have 334. Comparing to Lance Cruz, they have 161. We also have to have good defense, and get some good blocks and steals in. And on offense, we got to make a good shot selection and know we can make shots that we are taking. Well, the girls have got confidence every step along the way, and uh, this is another good test for them tonight. We're looking forward to some MAC action. We're going to be back with the national anthem in just a little bit. So please be ready to join us. You may be eligible for a credit on your electric bill if you experience lengthy or frequent service outages. To request the $25 credit, contact your electricity provider. For more information about the credit and tips for surviving power outages, call the Michigan Public Service Commission at 1-800-292-9555 or visit their website at michigan.gov mpsc and click on consumer information. A public service message from the Michigan Public Service Commission. Every day, there are people who are in need of new blood, whether it be from an injury or previous health issue. There are blood donation centers all around, including one in Port Huron, located at 615 Pine Street. The process is surprisingly quick. It will only take 8 to 10 minutes for the actual donation. That donation can save up to three lives. After you donate, remember to drink plenty of water, keep your bandage on, and eat healthy and iron-rich meals. You can also help save someone's life by donating blood at a local Red Cross center. To see more donation requirements and locations, head over to www.redcrossblood.org. Well, welcome back to Marysville High School Gymnasium. Thanks for joining us. Pink Out 2017. Kirk Smith in the booth with Emily Lee Browns. How are you doing, Emily? I'm doing good. How are you? All right. This is an exciting game. We got the Lancers in from Lance Cruz, and it's time for the tip-off. Delore tips it back to Saad, and she'll bring it to the front court. A little bit of a zone for the Lancers. Team you try getting good play in. Pass back up to Lydia Sodden. Everybody just kind of matching up a little bit, getting their feet underneath them. Little dribbling. Kira tests the corner a little bit. Back out to Sodden, across. 
Looking Rose. for a good shot selection. Just there he off is. the mark. Delore. That is Hannah Delore with a nice follow-up and a bucket. Two-nothing Marysville. Good job crashing the boards by Hannah Delore. Good defense. Vikings are tough. Pass inside. Back to the outside. That's a long three. It's off the mark, and Kelly comes down with the rebound. She brings it to the front court, looking up the court, makes the pass. Up to Sodden on the right side. All the way across the court. Haley Delore for a three. Off the mark. Hannah, another rebound. Got another rebound. Jump ball, and it's going to be Lance Cruz possession. Good job. Three rebounds. Offensive rebounds are already by Hannah Delore. Vikings in a little bit of full court pressure, man to man. Lydia tries to get a trap set. And they've set the trap. Now oh. can they get the steal? No, pass. Down low. Nice. Number 14, rebound and foul. It's going to be a push off by uh, Hannah Delore, I believe. The Lancers, number two, Lauren Phillips will take it out of bounds. Here's a quick shot in the corner on the inbounds. It's off the mark. Anna with a defensive rebound this time. Up the court, cross court to. Great uh, pass. Oh, yeah, it's Sodden. Got a three, and it falls. Nice job. Lydia Sodden with the three-pointer. Vikings go up 5-0. Long pass down the court from Lance Cruz. Tries to get a play going in. Good hustle back by the defense. Good man-to-man -man defense. Loses the ball. Oh, Green's possession back. Quick right. passes. Good inside pass, but it gets away. Hannah Delore with the steal. She brings it up to the front court. Passes over to Maya, but it's off her, and it's going to be Lancer ball. Lancer Seeing a lot of pink tonight. And a little deal, if you bought the pink shirts, you uh, got in for free. I think that's helping out with the crowd a little bit. Great way to support the, uh, the efforts tonight. We have six ball games going on at the uh, gymnasiums tonight. Boys and girls, freshmen, JV, and varsity all taking on uh, their opponents. A little walk there, but got away with it. There's a three-pointer. That was Phillips. Lydia Sodden's going to take the ball up here. Five to three, Vikings. Lancers are trying to get a trap in. Successful. Back to Maya Rhodes in the corner. Bounce off. Delore with a rebound. Maya back up, and she gets it. Nice pass. Great look inside. Maya cut into the basket, and they get the bucket. Seven three, Vikings. Again, Vikings are giving some full court pressure, and it results in a steal. Lydia bringing it up, quick pass over. And she's underneath the basket a little bit too far. There's a little push, and it's going to be a Lancer a foul. We've got a 30-second timeout by the uh, Lancers, and with the 7-3 to three lead, uh, we're going to take a quick break right here on M6, your hometown station. You might feel like there's too many problems in the world or that you know you as a 15 year old 16 year old can't really make a difference it's not always about you it's not just one person it's it's a group it's a team just that simple act is transforming someone else's life it's one of the best feelings in the world it'll just make you feel so good about yourself i'd do anything to convince you just to be a part of this welcome back Viking basketball, pink out action tonight from the Marysville Gymnasium. Marysville up seven to three. Corner pass, Delore to her sister. All Back the way to across Kira. to Kelly, off the mark. Delore rebound. Got a little bit of a block and uh, that's gonna go against Lancers also. Vikings are crashing the boards really well tonight, aren't they? Yeah, they're getting lots of rebounds in. It's really benefiting for them, good steals. Got a player injury right now. The uh, Lancers have to make a substitution. That's uh, Lauren Phillips will come back into the game. I think Tiffany Burgess 
there. It was. Nose bump there. Let's hope she's all right. Pass up to Kira in the corner for Delore. Delore takes it up, and she gets it up. Nice bucket. Good patience. She let that develop. Haley Delore at that bucket. Nine to three, Marysville. Good defense by the Vikings. Corner. Shot from the corner. Off the mark, but the Lancers come down with it. There's the steal. Delore and, takes the ball, going and, up for a layup. And she gets it. Hannah Delore, very nice first quarter for Hannah. 11 to three, Vikings. First, halfway through the first quarter, Hannah's had quite a few rebounds, a steal or two, and a couple of buckets. Lance is trying to get a play in here. Lydia Sodden comes down with the rebound. She's looking to push the ball up. Kick out to Kelly. Kelly drives to the lane. Pass over. Little <laughs> stumble. Yeah. All the way across the other side. Great pass inside and the foul. We're going to shoot two. Nice entry pass. Good post up underneath. Hannah Delore going to the free throw line. 11 to 3, Vikings. A couple of Vikings ready to check into the game right after this free throw. This free throw is just off the mark. Looks like we got Sam Miller, Katie Roy, Taylor Fogarty, Ashley Will. Coach Ratchie does a very nice job substituting a lot of people, keep the uh, legs fresh. He does. That was a good decision for the air. They've got to get uh, fresh. Second free throw is just off the mark. And again, those fresh legs, the Vikings are in the front court pressing a little bit. Oh, got to travel that time. That good defensive pressure caused that turnover. Christy Maltland coming in for uh, Hannah Delore. Whole second group coming in now. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going for the Vikings. Samantha taking it out of bounds. Over back call. Two. And it's going to be a Lancer's possession. I'm not so sure that time. Sometimes if you don't have possession, it doesn't necessarily constitute an over and back, but that's what they called. So. Three minutes, 24 seconds to go, 11 to three, Vikings. Melton out and on top of the uh, zone defense. Lanes is trying to get something going here. Not able to get the shot. And I think there's a fall. Sydney to who that time? <laughs> They do, and uh, getting that foul. That's her first one. Vikings bring the ball in. Sam Miller's going to take the ball down. Long pass down to Katie Roy. Pass down, blocked, and they get a steal in. Nice job, and uh, they drew the foul that time. Samantha just got her hand a little bit. That's going to be a shooting foul. Two shots. First one is just off the mark. Phillips can't quite get it to fall. Our second attempt. Not able to make it. Sam Miller's going to take the ball down. That was a nice box out by Christy Melt. That, that was. Time too. Ashley Will in the corner, tipped out of bounds. Viking keeps the ball. Sam Miller is going to pass the ball in. Pass to Katie Roy, down to Christy Melton. Ashley Will drives in, kicks it outside. Fogarty, she drives in, pulls up, jumper. Great shot by her. Little 
garden technique going on. Yeah, off the backboard. I don't wonder if she called backboard on that. We're going to give it to her. That's a nice shot, kiddo. 13 to 3, Vikings. This time the Lancers get it in tight, but they can't hit the shot. Another one down in the low post, but there's a little bit of a foul underneath. Got a body. Going to shoot two. Again, that's Sydney Dew who's going to shoot a couple. 209, first quarter. It's been a pretty quick first quarter. One's good, bottom of the net. 13 to four. Courtney Connell's gonna come in for the Lancers. Do with her second shot. Man, she's not able to make it. A little slip there, and it looks like they're called a traveling call, and this will be a Lancers possession. Christy yep. grabbed the rebound, but her foot went out a little bit underneath her. Lancers will inbounds it from under their own end. Wow, there's a lot of contact going on down there. Yeah, getting a little aggressive, but it's gonna be Lancers ball again. To the corner for a three, not able to make it. Lancers with a rebound. That inbounds play has been around since the beginning of basketball. That's a two-pointer that time. Ashley Will taking the ball up. Pass over to Sam Miller, loses it. Over back call. 13 to six, Marysville with the lead. Couple, Gabby Fogarty, Sarah Frizzle, Anna Fair, and Samantha Haldensworth are all gonna be coming in. Also Hannah Delore. Looks like they just took everybody out there, get some new legs in. <laughs> Coach keeps them moving around. And a fair up at the top now, putting a little pressure on defensively. Ooh. Tough defense there. Fast legs going on. Lots of work put in. Time a little pull up, good box out by the Vikings. Gabby Fogarty is going to take the ball down. Has to in a fair. Fair keeping it up top, looking for a play. Pass over to Gabby. I like the Vikings' patience. They are they're very patient today. Actually, they're taking their time, making sure they get a good shot in. Not able to get it in. Lanes to get possession, taking the ball down the court. You had mentioned earlier one of the keys to the game was good shot selection, and we are getting the good shots. They are. They, they don't all fall, but that's not uh, that's not a bad thing. You got to keep uh, putting that ball where you need it. A little bit of a turnover, and the Lancers bring it back. Under 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Still 13 to six, Marysville. Pass inside. Great That's Sydney do again. Oh, she gets possession back. Waiting for it. Somebody comes back down, takes her shot. Not able to make it. Half the team's down the court. <laughs> Hard time getting the ball back down. Got to slow it down. Got two seconds in the corner. No, won't fall. All right, that's it for the first quarter. Pink out 2017, Marysville. Girls basketball 13 and the Lancers from Lance Cruz 8. We're going to be back in just a moment for second quarter action after hearing from one of our sponsors. The programs and community announcements presented on this station are brought to you in part by a grant from the following M6 Communication Arts Learning Partners. The Marysville Rotary Club supports projects both locally and across the globe. The club meets every Tuesday at Alexander's Premier Banquet Facility at 12.05 p.m. The Marysville Rotary Club promoting service above self. After a long day at school, a teenager comes home. With haste, they make a trip to the medicine cabinet in an attempt to sort out the built-up feelings from their day. 
The truth is, they are among the 10% of teens that will abuse prescription drugs in a given year, according to the Drug Enforcement Agency. Chances are, someone you know could fall victim to the dangers of drug abuse. That's also a chance of someone you know throwing their life away because of a drug addiction. If you or someone you know needs help with an addiction, please seek help. You could save a life. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marysville High School Gymnasium. Second quarter action. The Vikings holding a 13-8 lead. Got Moving a, pick, it seems like, for Meyer Goats. Yep. Good call by the officials. Keeping their eyes out. Vikings got off to a really nice start. Kind of slowed down a little bit at the end of the first quarter. Patience seems to be the key right now. Great box from Hannah Delore. Long pass down to Maya. Not able to get her hands on it. And Tiffany Bridges is going to take the ball back down. Lancers have been patient trying to get back into this game. They got down by about 10 early, but now they've put out a 5 0 run together. Good call from the refs and a traveling call. Haley Dillard is going to pass the ball in. Seems to Lydia Sodden. Pass over to Kira. A lot of seniors on the uh, Viking squad, and they, they handle that pressure pretty well. They know how to uh, attack and also when to hold back a little bit, find Seems the seams. Yep, yeah, a lot of experience playing on the varsity team. Getting used to the pressure. Good patience here. Kira taking the ball up, and there's a good draw foul, and she's really shooting two. Great job by Kira. She found the opening, split in between a couple of people, got hit with the uh, lower body, and she'll get to shoot a couple free throws. Haley Delore goes down to the lower block. Hannah and Haley. Maya comes back out to the top with uh, Lydia Sodden. Kira on her second shot. Not able to make it. Lancers with possession. We've been sat, sat on the uh, number 13 for a while. We got to break through. Great little run in there by Tiffany Burgess. 13 to 10 now. A 6 0 run by the Lancers and uh, the Vikings. Got to get something good happening. Trying to get a hold on the ball here. Good pressure from the Lancers. Lydia's going inside, but... Seems like she trips. They, they called the travel on it, and she went down. Traveling, Mikey turnover. Tiffany Bridges taking the ball down. Six minutes to go before halftime. 13-10. Rhodes playing good defense. Way to go, Maya. Pass inside. And it's 13 to 12 now. Sydney do that time. She got inside. Nice position. Kira's coming all the way inside. Nice pass, but off the Off the, the rim. Jump ball, and it's going to be the Lancers' possession. Yep. Jump ball, second yep. It's a tough one. We've been uh, stalled here for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Kind of cooled off. Vikings playing a man to man. Good job by Kara Kelly. Tough defense going on down there from the Vikings. Shot up, rebound for Maya Rhodes. Stolen away from her. People are tripping down. Shot made. And for the first time tonight, the Lancers take the lead, 14-13. 10-0 run continues. Oh Ooh. my, there's a collision. And that's gonna Bit be, of a thud. That is Lancers ball. Up in the ball number 24. Five minutes, 10 seconds to go before half. Lancers bringing it up. 
Vikings trying to put some pressure in. Lancers control it, handling it well. Trying to get a play going on here. Swift pass. Storm, Hannah, though. Hannah, nice job stepping in. Great pass up. There we go. Nice layup by Maya Rhodes there. Tiffany Burtis taking the ball down. 15 14. Marysville regains the lead. Rebound made. Do again. Gets inside. Gets her own rebound. Going down for the fight. And it's going to be a jump ball. Vikings possession. Sydney Dew does a nice job inside there. Couple of substitutions uh, for the Vikings. 15 to 14. Four and a half to go. Marysville with the lead. Lydia Sodden brings it up. Avoids a lot of the contact. She's driving all the way to the hole. Oh, a little stumble there. And foul on the shot. Melton got uh, hit on the arm. She's going to shoot a couple of free throws. Good aggressive offensive rebound by Christy. She gets rewarded with a couple of free throw opportunities. Not able to make the first one, but it was good attempt. See if we can get the second one in. And she does. All right, splits the pair. 16-14, Marysville. Game's rather close. Lancer's trying to get something going. Pass back up top. Inside to do again. Blocked. Vikings, Gabberty. Fogarty brings it up. Big pass up Ooh. court, but uh, Vikings can't convert on the layup attempt. They do get to keep the ball, though. I think they're shooting. Nope, never mind. <laughs> pass over the top. Gabby Fogarty gathers it in. Drives <laughs> a Whoa. little bit of a... Little, Got ahead of herself. <laughs> a little too far out for that one, but... Uh, Good idea. <laughs> Maya Rhodes, a little bit of defense, brings it up. Lancers handle it well. They really like to look inside to Sydney Dew. They do, she's a good shot. Yeah. Pass over in the corner. Shot. Not able to make it. Getting her own rebound. We gotta travel that tag. Vikings, Samantha Miller to inbounds. Fair checks in. Hannah Delorge gonna check into the game for Lydia Sodden. Hannah brings it up over midcourt. A little bit of pressure, court wide pass. Samantha Miller. Fogarty over to the far side. Fair looking to drive baseline. Layup oh, just off the mark. Not able to make it. Jump ball. And it's going to be the Lancers possession. 3.15 left on the clock. 16-14. Vikings up. Quick recap. The Vikings jumped out to a big... Uh, 13 to four lead, and then they got stalled a little bit. I think their pace got like changed up. They were going slow at first, and started speeding up. Yep. Lancers like playing fast, they like playing slow. It's a 10 nothing run for the Lancers, got them right back into the ball game, but now the Vikings have the lead back 16 to 14. Three minutes, 10 seconds to go before the half. Good defense. Saves it, going over back call. Might have been a hand on that by the Vikings, so she could have gone in the backcourt. Reach over, pass down to number 10. There's the oh, travel. Lancer turnover. 
first quarter went uh, pretty quick and now it's slowing down a little bit. Fair going coast to coast, draws the foul. Sam Miller's gonna pass the ball in here. Lancers are uh, now on their seventh team foul, so that puts Vikings on the line with the bonus. Anna will step up, try to hit a couple of free throws. Off the mark, but a nice rebound inside by Christy Melton. Putback is good. 18-14 Vikings. Free throws have not been our Viking strong suit so far this year. We're only shooting around 50%. Subs coming in for your Lance Cruz. Taylor Fogarty is going to check in for the Vikings. <laughs> Haley Delore. Samantha Hannah. Hollingsworth. to the corner, traveling call. Vikings will take it out. And they call a violation on Haley. She moved a little too far to bring in the ball inbounds. You can move a little bit on a made bucket. You can go up and down the baseline, but uh, when it's a spot foul like that or spot turnover, you have to Stay pretty planted. Nice backdoor pass. Kick out. Wide open. Not able to get the shot in. It looks like Christy Melton's going to bring the ball up. Pass over to Haley Delore and she gets shot. Haley Delore on the cross court pass. Melton, great assist, great bucket. 2014. Under two minutes to go for the half. Pass over, drives in, not able to get the shot, gets the rebound, shot again, doesn't get it. Samantha Hollinsworth with the rebound. Oh, passes up a little too far. Minute 35, Vikings holding a six point lead. Eric Kelly getting ready to check back in for the Vikings. There's a steal. Anna Delore, big pass up to the front court, but a little too far and out of bounds. Anna's had a very nice game tonight. A little over a minute to go. And there's a nice pick, Hannah. That's about her fourth or fifth steal tonight. And the bucket. Doing great. Took it unassisted all the way down. 22-14, nice steal by Hannah Delore. She's having a great game. Lance is trying to do what they can, get a shot in. Haven't made a basket in a little bit. It's been a game of runs. The Vikings started off with a big one, then the Lancers, and now the Vikings again. Do that time. Gets the offensive rebound, puts it up, and is fouled, and the uh, bucket won't go, but she'll shoot two free throws. Vikings right now have team Vikings fouls of six. they will be able to get shots in, hopefully, for the last 38 seconds of the game. Meyer Rhodes coming in. Sydney do makes the first free throw. Second free throw attempt is up, off the mark. Lydia Sodden with the rebound. Getting some pressure in the backcourt, brings it up. Does a nice job handling it. Great back pass and Speeding well, up. Well, Rhodes tried, but uh, it wouldn't fall for. Here come the Lancers. 
Way to go, Lydia. Nice offensive, or excuse me, defensive rebound. 12 seconds to go. Vikings want to use this opportunity, get a good shot, and there it is from the corner, but it won't go. Five seconds for the Lancers. Three, two, long shot, no. And that's the end of the first quarter, or excuse me, the first half. The Vikings have a 22-15 lead going into halftime, and we're going to be back for second half action right after we thank one of our sponsors. The programs and community announcements presented on this station are brought to you in part by a grant from the following M6 Communication Arts Learning Partners. Lifetime Hearing is located on the corner of Gratiot and Delaware in Marysville. Come by and meet Pam Byer and her professional staff or call for an appointment at 364-1170. They have the needed expertise to provide testing and assistive devices. Remember, silence isn't golden to those with hearing loss. not about winning. It's more than Friday nights. It's not about the rivalries. It's about respect. about sportsmanship. It's about love for the game. Show good sportsmanship wherever you go. Good sports are winners. There are lots of unmet needs out here, and while I can't change everything, I can change some things. So I stepped up and became an American Legion Auxiliary Volunteer. For nearly a hundred years, they've been helping our veterans, military, and their families here and abroad. Military deployment can be tough on a family, so we do what we can to help. And every injured and homeless veteran deserves the compassion we can give them. Well, we are here to help. Plus, we also have programs to teach our youth how to be good citizens, and young women how to be leaders at ALA Girl State. America. I wanted to give back like the other 800,000 American Legion Auxiliary Volunteers. There's history here. Patriotism. Pride. Open arms. It doesn't take much time to make a difference. Will you join me and please step up to help our country's heroes and their families? Call the number to volunteer today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Viking. Pink out action game tonight. We got the Lancers from Lance Cruz and our Marysville Vikings. The Vikings hold a 22 to 15 lead at halftime. Our Marysville Vikings started off with a nice run, got ahead 13 to four, and then uh, slowed down just a little bit. The Lancers went on a 10-0 run, took a lead, 14-13. Then the Vikings kind of regrouped. Got some fresh legs and came back out. Now it's 22-15, and here we go for second half action. Sodden up to Delore, and down to Rhodes on the side. Back up to Sodden at the top. Here we go. Kelly looking inside, nice entry pass, just off the mark. Blue oh. knocked it out, so it'll be a white ball. Four gonna take the pass in. Pass to Sodden. Back to the corner. Haley with the three. No rims in and out. Won't go. Lancers bring it up to the front court. Little stumble. Pass up. Vikings have had good defense all season long, and this game included only giving up 15 points by halftime. It's pretty good. Shot up. Back out again. There, they finally got their shot. 
Lancers were rewarded with hard work and hitting the boards. Pass to Delore, pass to Sodden. Rhodes into the corner, nice pass into the middle. Oh, we had the shot, passed it up. And the Lancers get the rebound. Pass down in the corner. Tries go up. Stumbles on. It's good. 22-19. Lancers come out shooting. Third quarter. Tighten this game up a little bit. There's another steal. Lancers come away with it. Long pass in the front court. Tricks her out, gets a shot in. 22-21. The Lancers coming out of the locker room. They're ready. They are. Almost had another steal there. Kira Kelly brings it up to the front court. Not able to get out. This one down to the corner. Lancers take it all the way to the hole, and they're going to take the lead. Timeout by Coach Ratchy. The Lancers come out and score the first eight points of the third quarter to take the lead, 23-22. We're going to be back after Coach Rathje makes a few adjustments. Let's thank another one of our M6 sponsors. The programs and community announcements presented on this station are brought to you in part by a grant from the following M6 Communication Arts Learning Partners. O'Connor Realty, located at 2801 Gratiot Boulevard in Marysville, is ready to help you. Whether buying or selling, you'll want to meet with an O'Connor Realty agent. Call 364-8700 to make an appointment today. O'Connor Realty, small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. Well, Emily, we've had quite a ball game so far. Leads tra traded back and forth a couple of times, and our Marysville Vikings now find themselves down 23 22. Switching it up. Ashley Wilson and a couple others. Pass order. Gabby Fogarty. Getting on play here. Christy Melton. Sam Miller. Ashley Will. Try to get passed down in the key. Not able to get up. Whoa. Got a way with a step or two, but that happens. Now the three-pointer from the corner, no good. Nobody boxes her out. She goes in, gets her own rebound, scores. 25-22, Lancers. And another turnover Passed on the Vikings. Nowhere. Lancers bring it up to the front court. They're looking to open their three-point lead up with another three. No, won't go. Samantha Miller holds in the rebound. Ashley Will brings the ball up. Nice jab, Ashley, under control. Over in the corner, Gabby Fogarty. Pick, and up, and she's just shooting. She'll get rewarded with a couple of shots. Gabberty go, goes to the line, and let's talk a little bit. I see everybody's got their uh, pink shirts on, obviously, with the pink out game. They've already raised over $6,000, I'm told, with just the t-shirt sales. Lots of other things going on. Out in the commons, there's a cancer quilt. They have little uh, patches people can buy, do all kinds of nice things there. We also have on the back of a lot of people their names of uh, someone, a loved one that's uh, battled cancer, and uh, it's either in honor of or memory of, so that's really nice. Lots of good things going on. Gabby gets a shot in. Second one falls. Closes up the lead now, 25-23 in favor of the Lancers. Full court press. Great job by the Vikings. Kind of picking up the intensity. It's important to have those fresh legs, isn't it? It is. Defense by the Vikings, almost got the steal. Now it's going to be a travel. Vikings will take over. Good call from the ref. Got a chance to tie this thing up and see what we can do. 
Anna stumbling around, trying to get the girl off her. There's a pass to the high post. She goes all the way cross court. Samantha reverses it. Back up to the top. Nice job, Samantha. Not fair that time. Ashley Will looking inside. Lancer's defense has gotten a little bit tougher as they've gotten confidence. And they get another steal. steal. 14 takes the ball up. Top of the key for the Lancers. Looking to the corner. Here's the shot. And off the mark. Good job by Samantha Miller. That was a great box out. The Good old, hustle. Yeah, the only thing the defensive uh, player could do was reach over top of her. She did a great job positioning right there. Looks like we got fresh legs coming in, and the whole team will be subbing back in and out. Not sure. Uh, you had the keys to the game. You thought that the Vikings had to have good shot selection, had to limit their mistakes, play good hard defense. Let's hope we see that more in the second half here. That's right. Student section starting to build up. We're seeing more and more pink shirts down in this corner. Great entry pass, and Hannah Delore finishes. Tied 25-25 with 3.16 left on the clock. Bit of a shove there. Didn't get a call. Karen's Whole team's on her. She's going through a few people. Nice job. Oh, by. Stumble for Maya. Oh, more stumble. <laughs> Not able to get a hand on the ball, and it's going to be, I think. It's going to be Lancer ball. Yep. Yeah. Good hustle, but uh, the Viking just couldn't quite get a handle on it. 25, 25, just under three minutes to go in the third. Maya Rhodes gets the steal. Makes up for what just happened. Trying to get number 10 offer. Good hustle defense from them. Lydia Sodden at the top, settles us down a little bit. Kara Kelly, three pointer off the mark, rebound. Big battle, Vikings come away with it and get the bucket. Anna Delore scrapping for that offensive rebound. Good job. And the Lance Cruz coach, that's uh, Lisa Downey. She decides to take a quick timeout with two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter, and the Vikings regroup, get that lead back. Be sure to join us in just a little bit as we come back for some exciting Viking action. At any moment, one of your loved ones could be taken from you due to an organ failure. With organizations like Gift of Life, there is hope for recovery, but only with your help. In Michigan alone, there are 3,512 people on the donor waiting list, and every 10 minutes, another person is added. Nationally, 120,000 men, women, and children are in need of a crucial organ. Give your deceased loved ones a way to live on. Donate their healthy organs to an organ bank. You can also make the decision to help by signing up as an organ donor. You can do this by registering at your state's organ donor registry. With your donation, you can help save up to eight lives. Make a difference. Save a life. Welcome back to Pink Out 2017 at Marysville High School Gymnasium. Marysville Vikings girls team taking on Lance Cruz, the Lancers. Vikings hold a 27-25 lead with two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Coach Ratchie coming out of the Lancers timeout. He's got the full court pressure. Looking to see if we can pick up a, a steal. Kira Kelly. Hawking. Try to increase the lead here at least. Good hustle by the Vikings, good position. Keeping it fast paced game. Start to hear the student section picking it up a lot. Nice hustle by Lydia Sodden. And it slips off. Lancer's ball. Way to go, Lydia. She got down on the floor, dove for that one. I love it. That's the way you're supposed to play the game. Long pass out. Maya 
Rhodes got her man covered. Little switch, she stays up on top. This zone is keeping uh, the Lance Cruz Lance, uh, the Lancers a little off balance. Can't quite get the sh shot selection they want. That's an air ball and out of bounds that time, so it'll be Viking basketball. Viking basketball. Vikings need to get a couple buckets here, open up this lead, get a little bit of a comfort zone going again. Pretty comfortable at the first quarter. Try to get that, regain that strength again. There it nice is. three. That will set the tone, hopefully. See if they can get more going. Kira Kelly, cross court pass over to Lydia Sod, and she buries the three. 30 25, Vikings. Lancers can't get it inside. Lydia with the steal up the roads. Maya with the layup and it's good. 32-25, 104 left in the third quarter. Great job by the Vikings defense, which turns into great offense. Nice entry pass that time by the Lancers. Good bucket inside. That's their post player, Courtney Canal that time. Good job. All right, Vikings are starting to uh, try to pull this thing out. Hannah Delar with the rebound, can't get it to go. Falls away. Vikings with another steal. We got 24 seconds to go before the end of the third quarter. Oh, a big screen that time. They're gonna call it a moving screen on Maya Rhodes. Second one tonight. Has to watch out for that. Good call from the ref. All right, 19 seconds to go. The Vikings got on a little bit of a 7-0 run here. Got the lead back, starting to open it up just a little bit. What they want. They want a good lead going on again. Lancers inbound the ball going coast to coast, and it's a blocking foul that time. Hannah Delore hasn't done a whole lot wrong. She's had a heck of a game tonight. She has. Delores are doing really good tonight. Good chemistry with those two players. Thought she almost had the charge there, but uh, must have slid in just a little bit. Lancers, 15 seconds to go. First three throw is good. Tiffany Burgess hits her first one now, looking at her second one. 32-28. It's good also, 32-29. Here comes Lydia Sodden. 12 seconds, Lydia looks inside, back out. Nice pass underneath. Down below, that was great Haley pass. To, Haley to Hannah Delore that time. There's a nice sister combination. Oh, Kira tries to get the ball on it, not able to get a hand. And that's going to end the third quarter. Nice way to end it. Great entry pass, great follow-up. 34-29, Marysville will go into the fourth quarter with the lead. So be sure to join us right after we thank one of our M6 sponsors. The programs and community announcements presented on this station are brought to you in part by a grant from the following M6 Communication Arts Learning Partners. The McGivney Banquet Center, home of the Marysville Knights of Columbus, is a perfect location for any occasion. With their friendly and knowledgeable staff, both small and large halls are available for rental. You'll be sure to find what you need by calling 364-6800 to make your reservation. car accident victim can require up to 100 pints of blood. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. A single blood donation can save up to three lives. Your decision to donate blood is a safe and easy process that can save someone's life. 
If you decide to make the decision and want to learn more, visit www.redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Marysville High School girls basketball action. It's Pink Out 2017. Marysville Vikings start the fourth quarter with the 34-29 lead. Emily LaFrance has been in the booth with me and uh, she's doing a great job. Joining us now is Dr. Whiteman. How are you doing tonight, Doc? Excellent, excellent. I'm really excited to be here tonight and everything. We've got so many people here. We've got the band. We've got our athletic teams. We've got special organizations here and different types of auctions out inside the commons there. So, yeah, it's an exciting night tonight here in Marysville. Absolutely. First free throw by the Lancers is good. They're starting to tighten this up again, 34-30. Dr. Whiteman, why is it uh, uh, it's so important to teach uh, giving back by our students. Why is it so important that uh, they learn at an early age that uh, things like this, and generosity? Well, I'll tell you what, you just never know. As kids get older and live um, their lives and everything, you just never know when somebody is going to experience um, cancer. And, you know, our mission here in the district is one thing, but we also have a vision here in the district. And in our vision here in the district, every student will excel both personally and for the benefit of humanity. And tonight's a special night about humanity and doing what we can to raise money for cancer research to save lives, particularly the ones that we love the most. And that's our family and friends. And it's really evident when you see all these pink shirts and the names on these shirts. There's a grandma, a grandpa, somebody close to them, like you say. Uh, it's not something that affects other people. It's right here. It's in our community. It's in our families. Absolutely. Vikings uh, come back, hit the first free throw, open up the lead again, 35-31. This has really become a community event. It's not just something that happens in the high school. Elementary students, middle school students, you see them out here. We've got staff, uh, whether it's teachers and custodians, everybody's involved, the secretaries. But certainly the community and the businesses can't overlook those. They're very generous with all the activities and they love our kids. They've done an amazing job. You know, we've got a number of sponsors this evening. You know, we've got also we've got Sunrise. We also have Foster Blue Water Oil, Winston and Damon, O'Connor Realty, Walker Realty, a number of businesses that have helped us out and to put this event on, especially here for us near Marysville. So we really are, appreciate everything they've done for us here in the uh, district and to have this take, take place and happen. Absolutely. There's something pretty special about the Marysville community. I've, I share that with my students that uh, everybody in the community likes to see the students do well, whether it's the quiz bowl team, the robotics team, athletics, the choir, the band, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, there's a community pride with our schools and our, our students. Most definitely. And one of the other things I would like to emphasize, you know, it is a value to any community to have high quality, high performing schools. And, you know, when you have a lot of support with the uh, community members to support our schools, it's a blessing to have. And here in Marysville, we are an exception. And uh, it's incredible just to experience and see what's happening just here tonight. Every school uh, that I know of that does a pink out, they do it a little different. There's always something that they do, and uh, I know uh, East China schools do their thing, Port Huron. Marysville's starting to uh, take uh, this project on. This is the fourth year now. In the first uh, three years, we've raised an, an incredible $30,000 in three years. And so far this year, I'm hearing that we already have, just through sales alone, quite a bit of money. I understand. Yeah, absolutely. I understand that we've already raised over $6,000 just in t-shirt sales alone this evening on top of whatever else that we are doing over here in the, in the district to raise money for cancer research. So, yeah, absolutely. We're, we're very, very proud of what it is that we've offered and donated to uh, the Research Foundation. Absolutely. Well, the uh, Lancers are keeping it tight, and the Vikings are battling 37-33. Got six minutes, 15 seconds to go in the game. Neither team can break it open completely. Knocked out of bounds. Lancers will keep the ball. 
It's a lot of fun to see the gym. We had a pep assembly this morning. Lots of action going on. Kids getting involved, uh, having some fun. It's also important, especially in the winter, a little bit longer months, have a little bit of fun with some of those activities and make sure that uh, kids enjoy school as well. It's not, we certainly stress the rigor, but it's also about the relationships and, and the relevance. Yeah, you know what? Every once in a while, particularly in the wintertime, you have to have what I call brain breaks. You got to break up your day and give everybody a little bit of a rest in terms of mentally and do something fun and enjoyable that uh, everybody can uh, participate in. And tonight's one of those nights where everybody can do something. And you see the crowd continue to get uh, bigger and bigger. The boys came to follow this one and the band being out here, Mr. Duso with his group. Mr. Martin had the uh, choir doing the national anthem. He had, uh, I think the varsity singers do a nice job there. Kara Kelly from downtown. She's she was a great time. Great shot. Three pointer and they had it at the right time too. It's 40 to 35 Vikings. Five minutes to go. And we have a jump ball. I think every time there's been an important play, Hannah Delore has been right there with it. Oh yeah. Dr. Whiteman, we appreciate you coming up tonight. Thank you for having me. And listen, I'm looking forward to having many more of these to come. That sounds like a great deal. Enjoy your weekend and uh, let's make sure we uh, get a chance to do this next year. And you as well. All right, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the midst of a tight ball game. 35 for the Lancers, 40 for the Vikings. Great game going on. Glad you were able to uh, tune in and keep an eye on what their girls basketball team is doing. Coach Ratchie is moving players in, keeping them well rested. Haley De Delore will take a seat for a moment. Maya Rhodes into Lydia Sodden. Vikings holding the lead here, 40 to 35 with 439 left on the clock. Stumble, Lancers get the ball. Running it down the court. Little pass, shot up, not able to make it. And it's gonna be Marysville's ball. Destiny Miller was uh, the one that took that layup. She almost got her own rebound. Good hustle by Destiny. Hannah Delore, Christy Melton, Maya Rhodes, all in right now, Lydia Sodden, and Gabby Fogarty for the Vikings. Vikings looking to uh, try to find an opening in the zone defense. Kicks back out front. Nice job by Lydia. She's making sure she gets the shot that the Vikings want. She has a good hustle tonight. She's not getting a good technique in, getting used to how they play. Maya had a nice drive to the basket, but couldn't convert. Lancers come down with it. There you go, three, three point, way out. Gabby Fogarty with a rebound. Gonna take the ball up. Pass over to Lydia Sodden. Gonna be a little trap. Lydia goes right through it. Maya with a shot. Lowe's not able to make it. And a bit of a stumble for the Lancers ball. Good hustle by Lydia. I thought she uh, did a good job getting an offensive rebound, but uh, got knocked out of bounds. Officials say it went off her arm. The Lancers, uh, Sydney Dew has had a very nice game for them. She's a good hustler, she plays hard. The Vikings looking to set a trap. Almost came up with the steal, not quite. Fixing Do with the it. shot. Nice, good attempt. Sydney Do converts again, 37 now for the Lancers. 40, 37. Three minutes to go in the game and a timeout by the Vikings, Coach Ratchie. We're gonna take a moment to thank another one of our sponsors and then be sure to join us for the end of this exciting game. <laughs> The programs and community announcements presented on this station are brought to you in part by a grant from the following M6 Communication Arts Learning Partners.
The Marysville American Legion, J. Edward Mallory, post number 449, is located at 299 Huron Boulevard in Marysville. Hall rentals are available for any occasion, and bingo is played every Tuesday evening. Stop by and thank a veteran every day. Thanks for joining us in Viking basketball action tonight. M6, your hometown station, bringing all of your Viking sports action to you. And the Vikings holding a 40-37 lead. 2.54 to go in the game. Vikings looking inside. This zone has been a little tough. Christy Melton drives to the hole. Oh, close. Do with the rebound, and here come the Lancers. Going coast to coast, and it's good. Back to within 140 to 39 Vikings. Tiffany Burgess has been doing good tonight for the Lancers. She's getting a lot of points in, trolling the court. Maya Rhodes brings it back to the top. Haley Delore passes intercepted. Tiffany Burgess again with steal. Up, oh, not able to get it. Stumble oh. with the ball. Somebody's here, down. Here come the Vikings. They Came away with it, but the throw. Too long of a pass. And it's going to be the Lancers ball. Lydia Sagani, Kira Kelly coming in for Christy Melton and Gabby Fogarty. 2.09 to go. One point game, 40 39, Marysville. Lancers with the ball. Tough matchup. Game of ones tonight. Vikings started. And off to about a nine point lead. Then the Lancers came back with a 10 0 run, took the lead. And Vikings came back. Lots of back and forth going on. Taking a slow pace here. Tiffany Burgess up, and she gets up. Burgess has taken over the second half for the Lancers. Lydia Sodden. Bailey. Around the back. Minute and a half to go. Vikings down by one now. Lydia Saad, she Swift goes up foul. and gets fouled. Shooting to Lydia, a couple of important free throws coming up. Lance Cruz has six fouls now. So take that to advantage. Anything after this will put us on the free throw line. That's good. First free throw just rims out. Lydia for her second attempt. That one's off the mark, but a big rebound. Misses Another the mark. rebound. And, and we got a jump ball. And it's going to be Lance Cruz ball. Timeout by Coach Ratchy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an exciting finish. We're going to thank another one of our sponsors and then get right back for this uh, hotly contested final quarter. The programs and community announcements presented on this station are brought to you in part by a grant from the following M6 Communication Arts Learning Partners. The Marysville Lions Club has been serving the Marysville community since 1941. Programs for the Visually Challenged, school projects for our youth, and community enhancement projects are just a few of the activities that Lions members get to experience. To become more involved, visit www.marysvillelions.org. I will respect the game. I will play fair. I will play by the rules. I will respect my coaches. I will respect the officials. I will respect all the other players. I will play to the best of my abilities. I will always stay positive. The score of any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the actions of the players, coaches, and spectators are remembered. The next time you attend a school game, think of how history will remember you. Good sports show us how to play the game. All right, welcome back to Marysville High School gym. Girls basketball action, minute 24 to go. Lancers from Lance Cruz holding a one-point lead and possession of the basketball. Vikings have to play good defense, try not to foul. Kira Kelly working hard. Pass over to the corner. Stumbles with it. And Kira sliding in. Going to be a foul on Kira Kelly. That's the six, so it'll be Lancer ball out of bounds on the side. 
Vikings now with six fouls, so anything after this will be on the line. Might turn into a free throw contest at the end. Oh my. Almost Close game like this might end up like that. Right. Almost a tough mistake right there. The Vikings didn't account for one of the players, but luckily the pass sailed over her head. And the Vikings will bring the ball up. 103. Sodden with the ball. 31. 40. Kira Kelly. Pass inside. And three seconds on the Vikings. Tough Good to call. Vikings going to have to put some pressure on now. We're getting inside a minute. Coach ratchie has got another idea. He's going to take a timeout, make sure everybody's on the same page. Let's go back and talk about your keys to the game tonight. We had a couple of things that we needed to do, and that was uh, to limit uh, the mistakes. I thought the Vikings have done a pretty nice job with that. What else did you have for us? Uh, some good defense and steals. We did see that a lot tonight. Uh, definitely with Kira Kelly and the Dolores, they're doing a good job with that. Also, they're making good shot selection. First half, they were slowing down a bit, getting better ones in, but second half, they didn't perform that much as well, but still doing a good job. Hopefully, going to hold the lead here. The combination for the Lancers of Sydney Dew and Tiffany Burgess have uh, caused us some problems, especially in the second half, but I think overall, they play pretty good defense. They have. We're going to need that defense to step up right now. 52 seconds to go, trailing by one point. See if they can get the dub. And have a double team. Naya's looking to double team, and they handle it. Pass. Really have to push here. Oh, almost got the steal. There's the steal. We had a timeout by the Lancers coach. Nice job. That saved a turnover right there. Could have been a layup for the Vikings. Falls on TV can be entertaining. Falling at home can be devastating. Each year, one in three Americans over 65 falls in their own home, breaking bones and shattering lives. For older people, any broken bone can be serious. A broken hip, potentially lethal. To make your home as fall safe and bone friendly as it can be, visit orthoinfo.org slash falls. A public service message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, where staying on your feet is doctor's orders. Thanks for joining us tonight on Viking Pink Out Action. Marysville versus Lance Cruz, 41 seconds to go. And Lance Cruz has a one point lead. Haley Delore with the steal. Oh, oh. tipped out of bounds. Burgess that time, quick hands. Vikings will take it out of bounds under their own basket with 34 seconds. Got to make one bucket. Oh. oh. Kara Kelly. No, oh. won't go. Going to have to get up, see if they can get a steal or a foul. Great job. They got, got a nail biter here. There's the foul. That'll be uh, putting the Lancers on the free throw line with the one and one. Crowd's getting a little excited. They were hoping Kira could uh, put that one down, but I think we're going to get another shot. Let's hope. First free throw attempt. Off the mark. Here come the Vikings with 18 seconds to go. Lots of pressure right now. Let's see if they can pull through. Timeout by Coach Ratchie. Good call. He's I definitely caught there too. 10 seconds left in the game. Got one timeout left. You're not going to want to miss this one, folks. In America, drugs have been an issue for years, especially with the teenage population but the face of teenage drug abuse is changing and the new gateway drug is already inside your house. Once, drugs like marijuana were the number one gateway drug for teenagers. Today, it's prescription pills. 
Prescription pills are found in almost every household in America, and abusing these drugs can cause extreme addiction and have lethal effects. Commonly abused drugs include painkillers such as Vicodin and Oxycontin, and cold medicines with codeine. If you're a teenager, remember that drugs are never worth the side effects or the legal repercussions. And if you're a parent, take time with your teen today and make sure they know the dangers of abusing prescription drugs and ensure that they aren't already a victim of drug abuse. Thanks for joining us back at Marysville High School Gymnasium. We've got a barn burner going, 41-40. The Lancers from Lance Cruz with 10 seconds to go, holding the lead. Marysville, T inbounds. Side court. Referees giving them a little uh, tip on where they want them to inbounds it at. Haley Delore looking to get the ball in. Kira Kelly in the corner. Going baseline. Can't do anything with it. Going to have to get rid of it. Four seconds. And we got to travel. Going to be a turnover with 2.6 seconds to go. 41-40, Vikings are going to have to get a steal right away. Lydia Sodden coming in for Kira Kelly. We don't get a steal, got to get the foul, put them on the free throw line. Hope that they miss one. Vikings can get a steal, there's still time. 41-40, 2.6 seconds to go, and here we go. We're having trouble getting it inbounds, timeout. In the lats. Cruz Lotzers, they had a, uh, one more timeout, which is good for them. It's an exciting finish. What do you think, Emily? Yep, pretty exciting. Everybody in the crowd standing. This is good. Well, at least the student section standing. Student section's packed right now. Yes, it is. Lots of support. Glad that's happening. Vikings had an opportunity there, but the uh, Lancers defense was up to the challenge. All right, one more time. Lancers are gonna try to inbounds the ball. The Vikings had great pressure this last time. Once again, I'm sure Coach Rathje has told him, if you don't get a steal, you got to get a foul right away. Most important right now. And here we go. Two point six. Ball's inbound to get the foul. There you go. One point two to go. Lancers will go to the free throw line. It's Tiffany Burgess. She's been their hot player in the second half. Rest of the Lancers are back half court. They don't want to take a chance of getting a foul, putting the Vikings on the line. See if they'll get this shot. You got to be ready to uh, take it full, full court and get a shot up. It's off the mark. 1,001, 1,002, and it's over. Fortunately for the Vikings, they come up just a little bit short. It's a great ball game. Played out of both teams. The final score, 41-40. The Lancers from Lance Cruz take the first of our doubleheader. And we will uh, be back for the boys game. Thanks for joining us tonight on M6, your hometown station. Appreciate our whole M6 crew.